to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Thank you. Good night, baby. 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 You get baby kiss. I like your cape, Eva. Get out of our cocoon. Get out of the cocoon. What's happening? Yeah, Co get out of our cocoon. cocoon. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Trying to put butterflies over here. What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. Today is a bit of a house update, various life things. And first, I wanted to show you some new additions to the house. So, well, two of them are in progress. One of them is done. The main thing is I wanna show you what has been done. So this guy has worked really hard on creating some more space in the kitchen for us. Ta-da! So we got these at Ikea, and it's just a shelving unit. As you can see, all of this goes into the wall, and then you install the shelves, this little rack, this shelf, there's one more piece to it. It's essentially a rack like this and the bars go horizontal and you can hang stuff off of it. We got these little buckets to hang or like spoons and such, but it was sold out at Ikea. So we're going to have to get it online and then install it later. But until then it freed up so much space on the counter like this. And I think it looks so good. So what do y'all think? Second, in progress, we have these. What is this gonna be, Matt? So, I think it was a TV stand, but it's actually uh, gonna be a shoe rack. So, my next record I'm looking down. Well, yeah, it's just gonna be uh, for our shoes. It's so, like whenever <laughs> we walk in, the shoes are gonna be here, this table's gonna be there, and then eventually we're gonna have a dining room table. Yes. So, this little entryway so, table is gonna. I guess go here. I guess go there. I mean, or maybe we, there. Oh wait, no, it's like, gonna go here. Again, they're out of one other thing being a nice little, I don't know, created a nice ambiance. The little lamp. The lamp that you like. So yeah, the lamp is gonna go right here. It's like a little uh, bamboo-esque, you know, it goes with my motif. Uh-huh. So the shoe rack is gonna go here, but I mean, we come in, we drop our shoes off. It'll be a great place for it. Also a place for Eva. I'm sure we'll put her toys on it. Third. Ooh. Almost stepped on these. And this is something that I'm super excited about. It's our first piece of art that's gonna go up in the house, and the art is us. <laughs> so a couple friends of mine that I know from social media actually surprised us with this this week, and I just think it's the coolest thing in the world. It's us. And it's <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, it's so cute. So it's a picture that we took last Thanksgiving and 
the it's essentially I mean you can get kind of close and see it's like a painting of our photo but the artist also um, basically toned down the colors because I think Matt's wearing gray as always but me and Eva I think are dressed in more like fall colors but this way it literally goes up any time of the year so we're gonna put that I believe around here somewhere because our dining table will go here we're gonna lose a ton of running space for Eva but she'll just have to learn to work with the obstacles but um, I don't know what what do y'all think where should that go I'm thinking that wall but we might have to bring the table in first to see where the picture would look good Just pointing. On that wall somewhere. Well, it's gonna be the, so, and it's gonna look weird at first, just being the only amazing thing on our wall. But you know, eventually we're gonna add more. And I, I don't know. I, I don't think we'll do this. Maybe in another room. Maybe in the, the office. Probably not there either. I don't know. But you remember the uh, apartment? We used to have all the places we've been and stuff. And I thought we can do that now with Eva a little bit. You don't remember? It was mainly the places that I've been. <laughs> But yeah, every trip I would bring something home and I'd put it on the wall. You know, either hang it or put it on the shelf or something. something Weren't our Harry Potter like wands that. part of that collection? I don't think so. Maybe. I thought they were. Maybe. Or like a Harry Potter map. Anyway, so we're thinking to put that here somewhere. What do you guys think? Anybody that's good with like design, well, first of all, I know that our house isn't the most like feng shui, I've already had comments about it, but the TV's there. The TV's not moving. Don't comment about the TV. Um, the TV is moving. No, but like. Well, it's, yeah, it's not gonna, oh, we can't go over here. The suggestions no. were there because it opens up more space. I never told you, because I knew it would like kill no, you. So anyway, we so. We would have to move the, the, this room. TV's not moving. Um, this, this room would have had it in here over on this side. But any recommendations for where to hang things? Um, and, and decorating ideas, please comment below because that's something that we're still, we're slowly doing as, as the light at the end of the house tunnel <laughs> approaches. I think we kind of like, I don't know, we were, you weren't wanting to decorate because you wanted more to be done. And now that more is done, we can kind of start to decorate. That's a, oh, there's a wasp. Outside of the window, speaking of wasps, outside of the window, fun little fact. Um, apparently, is this, is this really what's happening or are you just messing with me? The, the stucco was pushing out moisture no, and that's why there were so many wasps. Yeah, so it, I mean, that's all it is, it's really cement. And cement is water and a few minerals and uh, that, you know, that nice bag of, it's essentially mortar for cement. Um, and so yeah, what's going on is there's water in that and as it dries, it pushes the water out. So one day I came home from the gym and he was at the office, Eva was next door. And I was walking up the steps and two wasps dived at my head, dove, dove at my head. Um, so I ran inside and I looked and there were, my estimate is like 20 something, Matt said there were more, but all along the wall up here, they were just in clusters. And apparently that was because the water was being pushed out of the stucco. Anyway, he got them with the wasp killer right there yeah. um i mean there were a ton there's ooh, there's some of the remnants of the body um railing is happening next but the what is that called the stuff that the, the people climb on scaffolding. the scaffolding so the scaffolding is in the way so they can't put the railing up um once the painting is done and then the siding because there's a little bit more um like wood siding that needs to be done. Hardy. Hardy plank. Hardy, hardy. Uh, then they can take the scaffolding down and then the front railing will be installed. So, there's that. Did you find some water? Did you sit in some water? 
I mean, it's flooding outside. <laughs> In the middle of summer. It's flooded. Yeah. Whoa. Flooded back here too. <laughs> Gross. So it's a couple days later. I don't think I ever showed you the shoe rack, the finished product. Ta-da! So this is obviously much nicer than our shoes being lined up here. And then Eva actually uses this as like a little play area. She'll put her toys on it and stuff. And uh, yeah, so I think it turned out pretty good. Another little thing happening is, I don't know where they are, but we've got some guys working on the first coat of the primer on the house. They did this um, a couple days ago, and now they've been, um, we saw somebody in the window about 20 minutes ago. So that's exciting. Once the painting is done, well, they're gonna do primer. And then, um, I, what do we do after that? We have to paint the... We might do some painting, we might not. Who's uh, gonna do it? Somebody. So they have to leave the scaffolding up? No, that we have other scaffolding that we can bring. So it's not gonna get done. Yeah, and then after <laughs> the scaffolding is gone, then we can put the rest of the hardy on, because we're missing hardy on both sides. And then that's also going to bring uh, the back stairs. But then we also have to paint that. Not the stairs. I mean, I guess we can paint the stairs. So for anybody that's curious, the house will never be finished. Just never. That's true for the house just in general. Yeah, we're always going to be wanting to like improve it and stuff. But yeah, we just, I don't know. I don't know, but it's moving along. So there's that. <laughs> it's nice. And I'm excited to... One thing that I really want is all this crap off the porch, but I want the railing to be finished, but that can't be done until the scaffolding is gone. But that should be soon-ish. And then the railing will be in and then we can actually hang out outside on the porch. So I talked about having coffee on the porch. We can go out and have coffee on the porch and ha have Eva out there and not have to worry about her catapulting herself off of the, uh, the ledge. So there's that. But that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, always make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. It helps the channel. Subscribe if you're new. We'd love to have you along. My goal is to be uploading two to three videos a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be the typical schedule goal. Um, if I do twice a week, it'll probably be Wednesday, Friday. So keep an eye out. You wanna, you wanna do your thing? Hmm. Have fun out there. I'm having fun in here. <laughs> <laughs> and then Eva's in there. She just woke up from her nap. She's on her bed. Right around there. Okay, that's it. Okay, bye. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.